Right guys, wrapped up warm, ready to go. I'm just about to leave to go to the game. We still got about an hour and a bit before kickoff, about an hour and a half. But uh, yeah, nerves really starting to set in. Obviously, thank you guys for watching this uh, video in advance. This match day vlog, I can't remember what number it is, but it is the big one. It is Palace against Brighton, first derby for us of the season uh, against Brighton. We have to, we, we have to get a result in this. We cannot lose this. There, there's literally, draw is the bare minimum I'm expecting from today. Yes, we've got injuries. Yes, we've got a very heavily weakened defence. And yes, Brighton are, a couple of their players, like Mapai, for example, Connolly, they're on good form. But for me, after what happened last season, the embarrassment of a double against Brighton, of all clubs, Brighton, um, we've got to respond tonight starting from tonight we've got to respond the players have to be on it key players for me Wilf Cahill if he is playing I'm still not sure if he is well, lineups will be out obviously later in the video I'll go through the lineup um, but Zahar and Maka I think are going to be massive players MacArthur's work rate and obviously if Zahar's on it I don't think there's any team in, in the country that can necessarily stop him if he's completely on his game so yeah nervous but excited at the same time this is what fans this is what as as a fan you you know you live for these nights you live for these games and I'm just really excited to to go there but also very nervous at the same time we've got to get a result I'm sure all of you lot are nervous as well watching this back <laughs> fingers crossed that you lot are watching this back after a win I really hope you are but I'll get in touch with you guys close to the ground go through the lineup a bit get the pre-match build up because obviously it's going to be rocking at Sellers tonight and yeah fingers crossed we get the result man we've got to get a win we've got to <laughs> Well, there you go, guys. Walk up to the to the Homesdale end. You can see the fanatics there, buzzing. Stayed there for a little bit. <sighs> ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm nervous, but I'm ready. You can see the floodlights over the house, the roofs now. Walking up Homesdale Road in just a moment. It's almost time. It's almost time. We can do this. Come on, boys. Lineups out. We're playing a four-three-three with Ayu and Benteke up top. So I think Ayu is going to be playing as a more of an inside forward, Will for inside left. Maka, Kiate, and uh, Luca in the midfield three. And then you've got Reed of Ald left back. Dan and Tomkins centre back. Kelly right back. Guaiti in goal. Definitely from a makeshift back four, but the amount of clean sheets we've kept this season, we've looked good, even with injuries at the defence. I believe in all of them. I believe in all of them. we just got to do a 90 minute performance, get it over the line, get the points, and let normal order be restored. Can't let the seaweed beat us. Can't let the seaweed beat us. Come on, Palace. Come on, Palace. This is it. This is it. Wow, big save from Waiter there. Mapai coming in from the right. 
flag should have gone up. It looked, he looked definitely offside. It wasn't given. Takes a shot. What a save from Boita for a corner. Massive save. They're checking to see if it's a pen now. It's a load of rubbish. This Brian plays around the ref. Look at offside. It's poor. The tempo's off. Read the ball in the left back. Looking so slow to get out everything. Moy, all the time in the world to put a ball in on this right hand side for, the, for Brian. And we get the header out, but then it's a free shot at the edge of the box, way over the bar. We just got sorted out. It's a really poor start. Tempo's not there at the moment. We're 20 minutes in, and it's just like we're. It looks nervy when we're up, going up the ball. We look like we're rushing it when we do up the ball. Too much respect, far too much respect. It's Brian, we've got to be getting into them. Oh, it's been such a poor half of football from us. It really has. Not, none of them want it at the moment. Far too complacent, no tempo. Letting, letting Brighton dictate. Poor, poor. I'm so disappointed in this first half performance. Only five minutes left to go, but it's been Brighton, although they're not created anything, they've dictated it. It's like we're the away team, we're bottom of the league, desperate for a point to stay up. Brian and and it's awful, awful. No one's up for it, no one's going in, no one, they're letting them have time to cross the ball. When we get the ball, we're sloppy, when we're giving it away straight away. Everything is poor about this half. Really disappointing, absolutely shocking. I don't know what we've done in the build up to this game, but no one looks up for it. Right, well, half time here at Sarah's Park is Palace nil, Brighton nil. On face value, you'd say half time against your bitter rivals, not the end of the world. You'd be wrong. Shocking. Definition of a shocking half of football. That is, without doubt, the worst half of football we played at home this season. Uh, in the biggest fixture. Uh, from the get go, you could see the tempo was not there. It's not been there the whole half. The way we've set up, I'm, I was like, fair play to our own bold, starting Benteke, not expecting that whatsoever. But with Benteke up front, I think I've been very impressed with him winning headers, been brilliant, no one running off them. But with, with, with him up front and Ayu out wide, you lose that press from the front that Ayu is so good at. And I think that's been a big reason as to why Brian have been knocking around the back for fun. Um, also, because of that good start for Brian, we're sitting far too deep. Midfield, the typical players that you know get into play, into the opposition, Maka, Luca, not doing it today, sitting deep, trying to stay compact. And I get that we're trying to not concede because the first goal in this is massive. Whoever scores first, I think we'll go on to win this game. But it's a, it's a, it's a rival, it's a derby game. You've got to be getting into them. No one getting into it, letting them cross the ball, letting them get the ball, letting them pass it, lay it off at free, free will like there at the Amex. And when we're in and around our box, no one's giving them some. You know, they're dictating the press as well. When we don't have the ball, they're forcing errors because they're pressing us so hard, so so fast. And sloppy mistakes every time we get the ball, giving it away. Don't I read of all, I, I like him as a player, but so clear he's the weak link in this side at the moment. So slow, not at not the races. And, and to be fair to him, it's because he's had two years in the under-23s and all of a sudden he's starting our game in the biggest fixture of the season for Palace. So I don't blame... I don't necessarily blame him for that. I blame, you know, it is just really tough for him to, because of injuries, he's got to be chucked in. But I can honestly see Mitchell coming off the bench, youngster, great, great in pre season. You know, Wan Bissaka, we saw how well he did when we gave him a chance as a youngster. I think he, we could see him come off, off the bench for Reed of Alden in the second half, but we need something. We need to change it up. We can't be any worse than that. That's the positive. It's still 0 0. That's the positive. But we, that is unforgivable. I'm, I'm so disappointed in that half. We cannot let that happen again in the second half. We've got to get into them, dictate to the tempo. This is Salah's part, not the Amex. Get into them. And I'm sure if we get the first goal, we'll, we'll go on to win the game. But it's, it's a shocking first half. It really is. And it, in the biggest fixture, not good enough. Not good enough. This is it. Massive boy by minutes. Got to be better. Well, second half is literally just about kick off. McCarthy has come on. Something had to change. Readable had to come off. Absolutely right. McCarthy on, not the end of the world. But McCarthy's now playing at left back. You're wasting McCarthy at left back. We've got Mitchell on the bench. Yes, he's a youngster, but he is a left back. You look at what happened with Juan Bissaka. When Juan Bissaka, you know, came out of nowhere, he bossed it when he took his chance. Give the youngster a chance. You can't be any worse. Massive 45 minutes. Well, I might be jumping the gun, but three, just go under three minutes into this half. 
already exactly the same. I'm not confident with change here at all. But can't throw left back is such a weird substitution to make when you have a left back on the bench. But it's exactly the same as the first half so far. No tempo. When we do have the ball, it's sloppy. It's sloppy. We won a foul there, but it's sloppy. Not happy at all. Not happy at all. We've got to sort it out. And if the first few minutes of this half is go on, Bob, it's not going to change. It's such a massive game. Got to sort it out. We're taking it in the box! An insane angle! Will! Oh, rubbish! They take it from all the way over the corner flag. It's in the post! Oh, nothing! Is that enough to spark the fucking game into life? Come on! Don't block me! Joe, all the time in the world, it was coming, Brighton won the up, it was coming, they're coming, all of them, all of them, Joe, Fuming. brilliant, much better, lovely ball in from Ayers to Benteke, turn dunk, oh, he's not even there, buys it at the near post, good save, from Ryan, but that's it, it's a spark again, can we make it count? Don't deserve anything in this game. I'm saying that right now. We don't deserve anything. We've been shocking. But we could. It's a 1 0. Still a chance. minutes game changing moment got to follow that up now got to follow it up with a good passage of play we're all over it now what's happened oh will oh don't shoot don't shoot don't shoot oh people telling him to shoot wow just had a game change just over 10 minutes right look rattled no way do we win this, surely not. We've been so poor. Unbelievable. Tomkins diving in with a the head there, brilliant. Four minutes to play. Come on, come on, Palace. The draw is a great result, see how crap we played. Oh, Kelly! <laughs> Kelly, it's a tight angle. I don't think he's ever going to score, but scuffed the shot. What a moment! Big moment there! Wow, how has this game changed like this? Three minutes come up and out of time. Let's just come up. We've got another corner. Three minutes out of time if we score now. How oh, this lot leaving? What a joke. Oh! Oh! Tonkins Rose! Just skimmed off Tonkins head. Oh, they got a full head on that. It was a goal. Oh, wow. What a backdoor that would have been. 